This video is about an application named Pyramid Flow, a simple application which is capable of generating video based on text prompt. It also generates videos based on an image. The application is now available on Pinocchio. Just download and save the application. After the download you will find the application in the home section. Click to run the application. And this is the interface. This are the two video resolution options available. 768 pixels gives a longer 10 seconds video and 384 gives a shorter 5 seconds video. The video generated here will be based on the text prompt. Selecting this tab will give an option to upload an image to generate a video. Below are these two prompts as a demo for 384 pixel video. Click one of the prompts to have it loaded in your prompt box. The video on the right side is visible because I tried generating it before. This is a 384 pixel video, means it has a maximum length of 5 seconds. To me, this video seems to be a real recording. A low resolution video has its own advantages for making it real. But for some reason, the Pinocchio interface does not allow me to play the video in full screen. There is this pop-out option which makes the browser show the interface. The video is inside Pinocchio then Pyramid Flow folder, which should be playable now. The low resolution video does not look good in full screen. Let me increase the resolution and increase the length of the video. I will click generate and will show you the hardware requirements. It works within 16 gigabytes of memory. And it should also work within 8 gigabytes of video memory. In Pinocchio, click this terminal to see the program's output. This task has a total of 31 steps, and one step takes around 45 seconds. In the case of a 384 pixel video, the total is 16 steps, and around 11 seconds for one step. This is how when it is done with the steps, then it takes a minute to output the video. The 768 pixel video looks decent on a 1080 pixel monitor. You can click this down arrow to download the video. This is another video I generated using a different model. There are two models we can switch to generate a video. With each prompt, I have generated two videos. One with flux model, and another with stable diffusion. But how do we change the models? To change the model, go to the Pinocchio folder. Then API folder. This is our application, Pyramid Flow. Inside we have all the content and this app folder. The app folder has all the videos generated for testing. In between there is this Python file named app. We will make a few changes to change the model. This folder named Pyramid Flow Model contains the models used to generate the video. These are the folders and files downloaded by Pyramid Flow on his first run. And now it is used to generate the video. You should ignore this file, I will show you how to get this. To change the model, open the app.py file. You can use a notepad, I am using a code editor. In the app file, on line number 20, its written model name equals Pyramid Flux. On the right, there is one more model name. This folder, Pyramid Flow Model was generated by the application. And then the application downloaded all the files and folders inside. Based on the model's name, the file and folder were downloaded on the first run. If I open the README file, it says MiniFlux. It means, the application checks on the start whether the model is present. And in the absence, it downloads the said model to generate the videos. In the code and the readme file, we saw this is a flux model. 
So, I will rename the folder by typing flux. In the code, I will duplicate this line. Make sure there is no space on the left. I will copy the other model name. And then I will paste the name in the duplicate line I created. Now, the model name here will be Pyramid MMDT. The application will not be able to find the existing model because we changed the folder name. And while downloading, it won't download the default flux model. We had changed the code. It will download the stable diffusion model to generate video. You need to save the file and start the application to see the changes. The application had created a new folder named Pyramid Flow Model and started keeping stable diffusion files inside. The README file says this is stable diffusion 3 model. Once the download is completed, you should be able to use it. To change back to flux, type a hash sign and give a space to keep it clean. Rename the new folder with the stable diffusion model so it is not found. Change the folder having flux model back to pyramid flow model so it can be found. If you try to run flux model with folder having stable diffusion model, then you will see errors like this. Let's look at some of the videos I generated. The prompt here was a cozy cabin in the woods with smoke rising from the chimney and snow gently falling. Same prompt with stable diffusion. I think this is better. What do you think? I have nine more such videos. The prompt was a chef preparing a gourmet meal in a bustling restaurant kitchen. Flux was better this time. This was a disaster. The prompt was a bustling city street during rush hour, filled with people and cars. There is one point to be considered here. The way prompts written for stable diffusion can be a bit different than for flux. However, I will be a normal person using AI. The prompt was a dramatic thunderstorm rolling in over a vast landscape with flashes of lightning. I think this time stable diffusion did better. I see the flashes of lightning asked in the prompt. Prompt was a futuristic city skyline at night, illuminated by neon lights and flying cars. If you can't make it, better not include the car. Flux did better without cars. The prompt was, a group of children playing in a park, laughing and enjoying a sunny day. These are scary kids. I don't know why I included this. Stable Diffusion 3 is terrible in human subjects. The prompt was, a majestic mountain range at sunrise, with clouds passing below the peaks. Both the videos are good, human body in the video is complicated. A vibrant garden in full bloom, with butterflies fluttering among the flowers. Flux had some glitch this time. Only one butterfly had a glitch in stable diffusion. The rest is acceptable. An astronaut floating in space, with Earth visible in the background. I think, I should have asked for a living astronaut. Stable diffusion got the point, but for some reason it is bending the space-time around it. A serene sunset over a calm ocean, with gentle waves lapping at the shore. Scenery and landscape turn out to be a good one. I am also trying to generate a video using images and a prompt.
The RAM usage is higher than text to video prompt. Also, the video RAM is higher. I think a 12 GB card is needed. Using Flux, a decent video was generated. I am still looking for video prompt. I think I should be more descriptive. Are you interested in image to video generation? What kind of image would you use to create a video? Stable Diffusion made this car a spaceship, and then it just got destroyed in the air. Scenery and landscape generated video are acceptable from both Flux and Stable Diffusion. This was generated using Stable Diffusion, but I am still testing. 